What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. So, this is gonna be a really quick video. Uh, it's gonna be like, I don't know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, who knows. But basically, what I'm gonna be talking about today is the Rocky Helmet and why it is probably one of the most important items in VGC today, uh, especially in Regulation D. So, you know, before we get into that, if you guys enjoy, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Uh, and answer my comment question of the day, which is, say happy birthday. It's 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 my birthday. Just give me give me a little happy birthday. Maybe maybe give me a super thanks. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna talk about the best item ever. So yeah, let's get into it. So the Rocky Helmet is an item that is just generally very good in this current format. Uh, Amoongus ran it a bit in Regulation C uh, to deal with a couple of physical attackers, but with Urshifu Rapid Strike being like the number two, number one-ish Pokemon in the format right now, and having a move that hits three times, it's kind of effective versus it. So, you know, let's do some basic math. The Rocky Helmet, if the user is hit by a contact move, the attacker loses one-sixth of its max HP. Now, this doesn't just activate once. It activates three times on Urshifu, meaning that if Urshifu hits a Rocky Helmet Pokemon, it's going to lose, you know, half of its health. Very basic math. So I'm going to be giving you guys some examples of some really great Rocky Helmet Pokemon uh, in the current format. Um, and some of them are going to be, you know, Moxie boosted specials, some like not so great ones that I think are still very fun. Uh, and yeah, uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. So let's explain why the Rocky Helmet is good just beyond Urshifu Rapid Strike. Looking at just the results of you know, tournaments. This format is much more physical attacker inclined. Chan Pao Dragonite have been dominating the game for a really, really long time, but they remain dominant in this format. If we take a look at like tournament standings, um, if we go back over here, there's a decent amount of Chan Pao Dragonite. There's, you know, one right here. There's one right here. There's, it's, it's a very like simple archetype to run. It's basically just Terranormal Dragonite clicks extreme speed with Sword of Ruin active and you just get a ton of one shots. And the Rocky Helmet can punch a few holes in that for a few reasons. For one, these Pokemon are often flanked by Urshifu Rapid Strike. You know, look no further than the number three team with that Articuno on it. We should make a video about the Articuno soon. But yeah, um, you can see that they're usually flanked by like a Rapid Strike Urshifu because it also pairs well with Chen Pao. But a big reason this matters is because Chen Pao is rocking that Focus Sash. Being able to stop that Pokemon from having that Focus Sash just by like punishing it for attacking is actually like really important to a team's um, chances of winning. Chen Pao is the sort of Pokemon that only really needs one or two attacks to get anything it needs to get done done. Um, and if you can stop it from having that free second turn, you're basically good. You know, it's not really that terrible of Pokemon to deal with at that point. So yeah, you can see like we're very physical attacker inclined. The King Gambit team won, uh, you know, this recent Beanie Brawl. We see just Rapid Strike Urshifu everywhere. Screamtail's also really cool. Hold on, let me look at this. I mean, this is this is my own personal research here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very cool. Like it. Love it. Great. Um. Yeah. No. We're we're in a we're in a physical meta game at the moment, in my opinion. Uh. And I think that uh, if you recognize that, you can get a lot of value out of this. So let's talk about the Rocky Helmet. There are a few great users of the Rocky Helmet in their current format. Um. If we actually just take a look at like Picolytics and. No, I almost said Google. Look up the Rocky Helmet. We can see who the top users are. You can see it's going to be Tornadus, Amoongus, Landorus, Cresselia. Rillaboom is not one that I actually expect to see too much usage on. Some of this is kind of skewed um, because they're not ordered by Rocky Helmet usage, but rather by how common the Pokemon is. And then, you know, later on down the road, you can see how common the Rocky Helmet is. So yeah, um, Amoongus, I'm not going to give you a moveset for because I do think that Amoongus, you don't really need a moveset to get the most uh, value out of the Rocky Helmet. If we take a look at Rapid Strike Urshifu and you just go ahead and throw an Amoongus in, any old Amoongus, yeah, you're gonna be eating that hit just fine. Uh, but the reason Amoongus is really great with the Rocky Helmet is not only because it just tanks Surging Strikes and you can pretty easily tank a, um, a Chen Pao Sword of Ruin um, Ice Spinner. Like, you know, it's it's Amoongus, it's fat. It can eat that without any like changes. Um, not only can it do that, but Amoongus also has the ability Regenerator, which will allow it to switch in and out on the field. So while you will have to eat that initial Sword of Ruin Ice Spinner and go down to, let's say you get like the, the best roll possible. Let's say you take 77%. You now have 23% of your health back. You switch out and switch back in. You do get that 33% um, regeneration, meaning that instead of 23% health, you're now at 56. That's pretty big. You're going to be able to take a few hits of that thing and you're going to get a lot of value out of Rocky Helmet Amoongus. 
No wonder Rocky Helmet Amoongus is one of the most common Pokemon in the format right now. Amoongus' Rocky Helmet usage is above Citrus Berry at the moment at 63%. It's, it's very effective at what it does. But another reason that Rocky Helmet Amoongus is really good is because you have access to Rage Powder, meaning that even Pokemon that are actively trying to avoid hitting the Amoongus by like, you know, being cautious of switch-ins and stuff, can't always avoid it. It can't always just prevent itself from hitting the Amoongus. So, you know, Urshifu, unless it's running Terra Grass, isn't going to be able to ignore the Rage Powder. Safety Goggles Pokemon aren't going to be able to, or unless they're like Safety Goggles as well, they won't be able to ignore the Rage Powder. So you're going to be getting chip on a ton of these really great physical attackers in the format. You know, those, um, the Urshifu Rapid Strikes, the Urshifu Single Strikes, Chen Pao, Landers, Therian, Rillaboom, Dragonite, Ursaluna, Iron Hands, they're all going to be taking a lot of chip from that. So it's, it's very useful. Tornadus is um, a bit of a strange situation. A lot of people, their gut instinct when they see a Tornadus, right? And I know some of you guys are going to be commenting, actually it's pronounced Tornadus. Shut up, I don't care. I, I've pronounced it both ways and I get I get crap every time, um, regardless of how I pronounce it. So a lot of people will think, oh yeah, you know, Tornadus, let's just like Tailwind, Protect, Bleakwind, Storm, uh, Taunt, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Tib in Nature, right? With a Focus Sash. But um, that isn't really like the optimal set in this format. You can get away with it, don't get me wrong. But current Tornadus, like it, it's Prankster, right? Prankster Pokemon don't need to invest too much in speed, especially Tornadus as 111 speed. With Tailwind up, you're going to be outspeeding basically everything in the format. So you can actually just go ahead and just get that bulk going, get it nice and fat, right? Nice little plump Tornadus, pop it in the microwave, comes out delicious, right? Um, so if you, you know, chuck a Rocky Helmet onto this guy, uh, and build him a bit bulkier, your Tornadus is actually going to be able to eat some pretty impressive hits. So let's go ahead and throw in, um, let's throw Earth Rapid Strike back into this, uh, back into this damage calc, and we'll open up my Rocky Helmet Terra Dark Tornadus. So the thing about the way that multi-hit moves work is if you want to minimize the damage, you're actually going to have to invest more directly into the actual defensive stat rather than the HP, which, you know, instinctually you're going to want to do the HP. But you can see here, you're guaranteed to eat a Surging Strikes from not only Urshifu Rapid Strike with a Mystic Water, but a Terra Water Urshifu Rapid Strike with Mystic Water, which is very impressive, right? Um, it's going to make it so in the face of that Urshifu, you're going to be able to go for that Tailwind uh, and then eat the hit and then next turn hit it with a Bleak Wind Storm. Like this is an option you have just to get rid of it. Um, unfortunately, because you're not running Max Special Attack, you're not going to be able to always secure that one shot, but it is going to be a roll. And even then, like, you know, it, it does take a lot of investment to secure that one shot. You know, 168 or, yeah, like 156 special attack investment to get, like, a, a roll in your favor. Like, it's not great. So, in in my opinion, the 36 special attack investment's fine. Um, you have 12 speed here just because it's going to allow you to outspeed a lot of really common Pokemon. Uh, and mostly just to make sure you're not going to get outsped by opposing tornadoes you know you don't want to you don't want to like get taunted before you can go for the tailwind so being able to outspeed those is going to be really important so don't go like four speed maybe don't even go 12 maybe decrease your special attack even further if you want to get like really safe go down to four and then like really crank up that speed stat to like 36 or whatever um and that'll allow you to outspeed a lot of tornadoes since most of them are running pretty bulky right now in fact i don't know if picolytics is going to be reflective of it but like yeah, like most technically are like still timid, but like a lot of the ones you run into are going to be a lot like, you know, bulkier. So keep that in mind. You can you can make it a little bit bulkier. I like being able to survive the Terra Water variant. Um, You can be a little bit less safe and make it so you just survive the Mystic Water variant. That allows you to invest a lot less in bulk, but then you're not going to get um, just... I feel like you get a lot of value out of Tornadus like just by making it fat because even with like max special attack investment, a lot of the rolls other than like the super effective ones are going to be the exact same. Like not the exact same, but like it's still going to be like a two shot. So yeah, Tornadus is very good. Terra Dark is going to be what I recommend on this one because it's going to allow you to um, avoid other prankster taunts from, I don't know, opposing Tornadus or opposing Thunderous, any of those prankster Pokemon. You know, you just want to make sure you avoid that since dark types are immune to prankster moves, you'll be able to tailwind without any fear. Next up is actually my personal favorite Rocky Helmet user, uh, and that's Zapdos. Zapdos is really, really fun because, all right, well, if you want to live like the Mystic Water variant, yes, you do have to invest like a ton into your defense stat, and because you're not, you know, it, because you're not Prankster, you do have to invest a lot into speed to make sure you always get the Tailwind off in front of opposing Urshifu. But regardless, it's still really fun. This is the set that I've been running. You might think it's a little cringe, a little bit of a weird set, but it's it's really good. 
I think it's really good. I got a lot of I got a lot of value out of it. I'm 1700 on, on ladder right now. Um, so if we pop in my Zapdos set, Helmet Roost, uh, you can see that this set will always outspeed opposing Urshifu. They only hit 163. You hit 165. If I could hit 164, I would, but we have to go Timid, so this is the jump. So yeah, um, like I said, you have to invest more directly into the defense stat rather than the HP stat to live this hit, unfortunately, because of how Urshifu just works with multi-hit moves. Um, and this will guarantee you do live that Terra Water Surging Strikes, but because you're investing more directly into your defenses rather than your HP, you're not going to eat special attacks as well. That's something I was willing to like deal with on my personal team that I ran this on because I thought it was fine. Um, if you want to not live the Terra Water one, yes, you can invest directly into your HP just to live the hit. Uh, but I think that, you know, be a little bit safer in my opinion is really nice. Uh, but yeah. What this is going to allow you to do is not only make it so Urshifu gets outsped and you get the Tailwind off and then they have to like Surging Strikes into you, but also because you're static, each time they hit you, it's a 30% chance that they'll get paralyzed. I don't want to do the math right now. Someone in the comment section is going to do that math, but it's a pretty good chance that after three turns of Surging Strikes, they're going to get paralyzed, at which point you can just follow up with a Thunderbolt. Um, and yeah, like Thunderbolt, no investment or like four special attack investment is going to one shot most Urshifu, especially since they're not Focus Sash right now. And since they're almost all Terra Water, it doesn't really change the um, the damage calc at all. So yeah, it just makes it so you don't want to go for Hurricane. So that's really nice. Uh, also, I do think Terra Steel is the best Terra type for this guy because it will allow you to not be weak to opposing, um, opposing electric types, but also be able to take on uh, Chen Pao a little bit more effectively. And also you'll be able to resist extreme speed from opposing Dragonite, which is really, really nice. Like if we just look at like the Chen Pao calc versus this guy, you can see that like the Sash set, if we're not Terra, yeah, Ice Spinner has a, you know, a roll in their favor to one shot. However, if you do Terra, you know, that then it's no longer actually going to be, it's not even like close to one shotting and they do have to take that damage. Then you get the Tailwind off, then you get the Thunderbolt. And all those things combined, you know, the Rocky Helmet plus the Thunderbolt, like that's, that's a pretty decent chance that they'll just kind of go down. Um, after a few other things, obviously, but yeah, um, I do quite like Zapdos in this format. I think it's really, really solid and having access to really fast roost also makes it, it's like longevity is insane. It's done pretty well in a few tournaments in the past. So I like that. Next is Moltres. Moltres is built pretty similar to Zapdos, but I don't care as much about Tailwind on this set. It's mainly just meant to be fat. It once again is going to be able to live the Urshifu Rapid Strike Surging Strikes. However, however go to it no it is not gonna live the mystic water you do have to terra water to live that mystic water or terra grass whatever your preference is i like terra water because it makes it so not to deal with opposing um uh, chen pao as much but yeah uh that will allow you to eat like the tarot or the you know urshifu mystic water surging strikes especially if they terra water like then yeah that's great um not only that but it's going to have a chance to burn so the reason I'm okay with it not living the Mystic Water variant is because you do have a chance just to straight up live it. Um, and that's because of the ability Flame Body. Flame Body makes it, it's a lot like static where each time they hit you, there's a chance that they get burned. Keep in mind, when a Pokemon gets burned, it's the power of its moves gets cut in half. So Surging Strikes power just gets cut immediately. Let's go ahead and apply the, the burn status to this guy. You can see that like, you know, Terra Water Surging Strikes with a Burn versus non Terra Moltres will never one shot. However, that initial one before the burn will do a lot of damage. So if you do get that first or second burn, you should live the hit, uh, but it is going to be really close. Uh, I also threw Roost on this guy because I think it's just really solid. And yeah, being able to like deal with opposing Rillaboom as well is really nice for Moltres. It's a hard Rillaboom counter. It doesn't actually mind um, Chen Pao that much if we take a look at like the Chen Pao calcs. You can see that like Ice Spinner does do like less than half to this set, which is really impressive considering it's it's Chen Pao, dude. That's with a defense drop. It's doing 35 to 43%. There's a chance they get burned. You know, on their Ice Spinner, you go for Tailwind and then like the Sucker Punch won't ever KO you and you, you get to go for um your Heat Wave and then you just win. So that is really nice. You also do have access to Roost once again to like have that longevity. It's a really fun Pokemon. I, I highly recommend you guys try it out at some point. I just said this is gonna be a 10 minute video, but we're already at 14 minutes. I'm sorry. I have two more. Uh, next up is Landorus Therian. Now, Landorus Therian, this is a set I've been toying around with. I think that Landorus Therian is really, 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 really good, right? Um, don't get me wrong. It did get nerfed a lot by the fact that, like, you know, 
the clear amulet exists now we have chien pao in the game we have urshifu in the game and there's just a lot of pokemon that don't care about it it's still really scary because it is an intimidator and it is really bulky if you're unaware in series 10 vgc 2021 one of the most common sets on lander's therian was a defensive set to deal with opposing zacian and it would be a special attacker I've dropped the special attacking version of this because, you know, you don't really need it, but I do like that option. So keep that in mind if you want to run like Earth Power, that's also a thing you can do. You can actually make it so Grass not one shots opposing Urshifu if you Rapid Strike, and you can run Terra Grass. I am actually currently running this on a, on a team. Um, it is a Rocky Helmet, Bulky, Swords Dance, Terra Blast, Terra Flying, Lander's Therian. So taking a look at this, Lander's Therian in the damage calc, Helmet SD. You can see that, you know, obviously Urshifu, or you know, obviously Chen Pao is going to one-shot you. If you Terrastalize, it's no longer going to one-shot you. But it is really interesting. It is really interesting that you can, like, it's a roll to live that hit. That's really funny. Um, versus, you know, the important Pokemon here, the Urshifu Rapid Strike in question. Is it in the room with us? Yes, it is. Um, it's not going to be able to eat that Surging Strikes with the Mystic Water once again. Obviously, it's not going to eat it if it terrestrializes. Um, but without that Mystic Water, yeah, it's going to eat the hit just fine. You're going to be able to live that hit. It's going to take the Rocky Helmet damage, and then you can one-shot it back. Uh, or, and then you can KO it with, um, you know, Terra Blast Flying if you really want to. But obviously, then you would Terra first, and your Terra Blast, your Terra Blast Flying is a one-shot versus opposing Urshifu uh, with this investment if you just, you know, go for it. Because obviously, um, by terrestrializing into a Flying type, not only to get access to good Flying Stab with Terra Blast, but also it's going to give you that adaptability boost, which makes it especially terrifying. Swords Dance is also really nice because this thing is so bulky. Oh, also I should mention that, yeah, if if they are Mystic Water and you're Terra, then yeah, you do take that. So that's that's awesome. Um, I, hi I highly recommend you pair this with the Tailwind user because if you go for that Sword Dance and you end up at plus two, this Landers becomes really, really scary. You can see that like Terra Blast at plus two is like, you know, a, a roll heavily in your favor to one shot non weak, you know, Terra Water Urshifu. So if we just throw in like, I don't know, I guess Cresselia is a good, like, a good benchmark. Cresselia, one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the format, gets two shot by this set. Keep in mind, you only have 44 attack, and you're not even in adamant nature. Its attack stat is so high that it, like, it doesn't need the investment. Like, if you just sword dance, you're like, fine. So, Landers, because of its naturally high stats, will be able to invest heavily into its bulk to live the hits that it needs to, while being able to get that setup move off. And even then, even if, you know, you don't get that setup off, it still hits pretty hard. You know, 30% to um, a Cresselia isn't anything to laugh at. And like I said, you do one shot, just like standard Urshifu with Terra Blast. Um, Stomping Tantrum also does decent damage, so it's it's a good Pokemon. I, I, I really enjoy Landers in this format. Final one, and I just wanted to mention it because... Indeedee is like the goat. Um, Rocky Helmet Indeedee. A lot of Indeedee already just run max HP, max defense, because its special defense is like fine enough and it's not really doing anything on the offensive side. Uh, Psychic Surge will protect your teammates from like Aqua Jet, Sucker Punch, etc. The Pokemon that come with, you know, Urshifu Rapid Strike being the Extreme Speed Dragonite, the uh, Fake Out Rillaboom, you know, granted your terrain goes up second. Uh, and of course, Sucker Punch from Chen Pao. But Indeedee Female will be able to tank hits pretty effectively. You're going to be able to redirect hits into it with Rocky Helmet, Follow Me, which obviously, you know, kind of like a Moongus. But you, don't, you do also have access to a couple of other tools like Trick Room and um, Imprison and stuff. In fact, I believe second place had that, right? Yeah, they did have a Rocky Helmet, Terra Grass, uh, Indeedee Female. So yeah, um, I just want to make a video just talking about how good Rocky Helmet is, why it's like one of the best items in the current game. Uh, and why you should probably be trying to find a place for it on your team. There's just a lot of Rocky Helmet going around. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know if you learned anything new in the comment section down below. Have a nice one. Bye.